Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off after helping Jubilost reject immortality, which I'm not gonna lie, I did not see coming. I guess he does deserve a bit more respect than I give him credit for. In any case, I think we now have to go help some miners or something? Yeah. We have to deal with some druids and some miners. Dree Stinvag. Right. Um... Before I do that though, I think I may have forgotten to look at my inventory in quite some time, so I should probably check to see what needs updating. Maybe a couple of light crossbows for Lindsay and Tristan. Jubilost uses a heavy crossbow, okay. And you have the headband of vast intelligence. Um, now, Canera has the kinetic diadem, which does do her more damage. I guess, yeah, I suppose it would be smarter of me to uh, switch this out every time we need to, or while she's doing some kingdom management stuff, but I'm just too lazy. Uh, but we know you definitely don't need the masterwork-like crossbow, nor do you, Harem, and that's not even masterwork at that. Does anyone else have any stuff that they don't need? Oh, so I'm guessing that um, Amiri's thing is not done, because... Her Ginomus sword is still broken, unless it's supposed to be broken? Which I kind of doubt. They normally wouldn't do that kind of stuff now, would they? Eh, I don't know. I mean... It's not that I'm criticizing this game, but I don't think this is a... Revolutionary... Kind of... System or approach to CRPGs. Again, it's not that I'm not enjoying it, or don't think it's awesome, because I think it is. I mean, obviously, because... This is getting up to, like, what, episode 200 now? And if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be playing it, but, um... Yeah. I don't think... I... Where was I going with this? I meant to say that, um... I don't think they're here to break the mold, I guess you could say. So, that's why I'm thinking that maybe it's safe for us to, uh... Assume that a Miri sword will be... You know, I guess... Reforged or something? Maybe later on? Ankle breaker. So... Has a chance to slow the enemy on hit. Right, um... Still a heavy crossbow though. What about some more... Eye of the Tornado? Ooh... Interesting. Now, Jubilost's strengths nearly are, um, sorry, are obviously not in... Okay, so we do have a uh, light crossbow. With, uh, corrosive damage. Sure. Okay. I really wish it would actually sort by type, though. Um... If I could offer some criticism here. Because this doesn't really sort by type, it just sorts by name? Although it does sort the, I guess, types, but, you know, it's like weapon and shield and armor. But within weapons, it doesn't actually sort within the types, I guess you could say. So, makes it a little hard to, uh fully appreciate everything that I have. Of course, that could be solved by me not hoarding everything, but, um... I mean, why wouldn't I hoard? Good grief, man. Why would you not look at this and go, yep, that's normal. I mean, I sure would. Because that's exactly how I live my life in real life, I guess? Um, but so far I'm not seeing any other crossbows. So I guess we'll just let Jubilos keep his thing? Wait, didn't I the tornado exist? Yes. Okay, so... It's shock and enhancement plus three. You know what, I think maybe Jubilos, if we're gonna use the... Heavy crossbow plus two, you might as well just use the, uh... Eye of the tornado. And I'm gonna give Lindsay the... Greater sting. Fantastic, and Tristan, you can take the... Uh, not that, but rather the shock light crossbow, I guess. Unless maybe he can do better with the heavy crossbow. Actually, he does have a better attack with it, but in terms of DPS, I feel like the uh, shock light crossbow will do bit, a bit more damage. Assuming that they don't completely ignore the shock damage, of course. So, maybe I should just go with this then. Hmm... No, you know what? We'll go with the, uh, zappity-doo. Sure. Alright, so... Let me just leave... 
Uh, we'll sell that, I think. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good to go. Sure, sure, why not? Oh, Amulet of Mighty Fist. I think I meant to actually switch that out for Canera, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah, sorry about that. I usually do the housekeeping stuff off camera, but um, I guess I forgot, which actually is not that surprising at all. Um, what is surprising is that I actually did not forget to um, set up the town in um, Dunn's Ward, if you can believe that. Of course, this is completely ignoring the fact that we uh, did not notice, like, several times. Or forgot about it several times. Alright, and I'll bring Canera this time. Mm, unless we haven't rolled with someone in quite some time. But I'm assuming if we're going to be fighting druids, we might need some stuff that can burn people. Or ants, or, you know, trees? I guess? Maybe we can treat, hold some trees hostage? Are druids really into trees? Or are they really just into nature in general, or like animals, or are there dru tree druids or something? Oh, so the settlement that I founded is here, Lang, as in the plateaus of Lang, one of the another Lovecraftian themed um, location. Uh, Druid's Refuge, we need to go to Arkham and from there go north and that'll be about five hours I believe, so that's fine. Alright, so to Arkham we go, and Druid's Refuge. Here we go! Oh, I also think we need to maybe, um, collect some stuff. I don't have anything that's gonna be resolved in one day, do I? Sorry, let me just quickly check. I forgot to. Uh, no, two days. So, basically one day left-ish. Okay, so, Lang, we are currently building all these things. Yeah, I guess some of them could be done a little bit sooner, but that's okay. I'm not too, uh, remiss by the fact that, um, if that, is that the right word? I'm not too upset by the fact that, uh, I missed out on a few days of building shit, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so druids, how do you want to do this? Do you want me to burn your entire forest down, or do you want me to just burn you alive? And then constantly heal you as you get burned, much like, um... Prometheus, you know, who stole the fire from the gods and then had his intestines pecked out by, uh, an eagle, uh, forever. Man, the Greek gods were, like, vindictive assholes, weren't they? Fantastic. Fair enough, I mean, I guess if I were a god, maybe I'd be just as vindictive? Maybe? Um, okay. So, I'm assuming that they're going to want to tussle, right? Time. Alright, well, um, do we know what level they are? No idea. Okay, let's just quick save, and I think we'll just charge in dick first. A girl in a dusty robe is staring at you with clenched face, uh, fists. You, you're the one who thinks they're ru the rule of these lands. Why are you here? Do you want to head a greedy mob and clay y yourself a road to the uh, bounty? Um, uh, sure. You're not very polite. Stop yelling and explain what greedy mob you're talking about. What makes you th think I'm here to talk? You're not very polite. Polite? You and your minions bring only pain and misery to these lands. You decided to come in uh, person to and crush us, so you and your gang can continue injuring the earth and the mountains. Shameless, vile, disgusting murderers. That's what you are. Stop yelling. The girl tries to catch a breath, but gasps with rage at, her at your words. I'm talking about the mob you let onto these lands. The little bearded men who think they can grab whatever they want. The dwarves that came to you. Didn't you think to wonder why they'd walk such a long way? I'll tell you why. They're locusts. They come to an innocent land and rip it apart like a dead body. Is that what you do with dead bodies? You come upon the dead body and instead of burying it, you rip it apart like some kind of fucking animal? Wow. Alright. They rip up the earth and mountains, mutilate the fields, cut down the forests, and all for profit, for the unborn children that the earth was carrying under its covers. She sobs. Is it not enough what the earth freely gives? The ores and the gold that line the ground? Why would your subjects want to completely consume all of our natural resources? They want to wound the earth so deeply, it'll take centuries to heal. Um, okay. Who are you? What has this uh, mining crew done to you? The m dwarven miners can hardly be causing as much damage as you say. What have you done to the lost miners? What shall the people of the Stolen Lands do? We can't live without metal. Or lawful evil. 
Enough with this nonsense. Leave my lands before I change my mind and send you to the scaffold. Who are you? We're the ones who protect the land against vandals like you and your dwarves. We're the followers of Gozray. Uh, we hear the whispers of the sky and the rivers. We protect our lands against all intruders. Gozray is a dualistic deity of nature, a god of the storm and sky, and also a goddess of the wave and surf. Born of the ocean's fury and the wind's wrath, Goze is a fickle deity. Sure, so what has this mining crew done to you? They come from other lands that they've uh, devastated, only to mutilate this country too. They use their contracts with the authorities to cut the bowels of the earth and destroy anything that stands in their way, and they get away with it. Uh, they can hardly be causing as much damage as you say. The girl shakes her head. When the earth is torn apart, it suffers greatly. Once it loses its strength, uh, water and wind finish the job. Did you think? Did you know that the dwarves uncovered an acidic stream that's poisoned several nearby creeks? Did you know that their ore rinsing elixirs burned the grass and turned good rich soil into lye? I'm sure you did. All that people like you can see is the gold they pay for their mountains, uh, mountain treasures. Just think about it for a minute. What's to become of your land when your children's children inherit it? What will they be getting? A green country that's full of life, or a dead wasteland that's, an, that's empty like an eggshell? I mean, you have a good point, but. Do you really think that this is going to happen all in a generation? Of course, it is a slippery slope. Um, but, well, I mean, it's a video game, so... Uh, what have you done to the Lost Miners? A girl, a girl's face turns dark. They came to deliver pain, and that's it's the pain that they shall receive. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. So, what do we do without la uh, metal? The girl claps her, uh, clasps her hands. Aren't the hillside deposits enough? Why gut the earth, while other sources of ore which it uncovered freely have yet to be depleted? There are already more than enough for you and your, uh, all of your kingdom. You sure about that? Uh, I'm going to threaten you, thanks. If it makes you so upset, I'll send the miners on their way. Yeah. Her eyes filled with tears. She gasps and turns away. I'm ready to die, but I can't risk the lives of my brothers and sisters. You and your dwarves can burn in hell. Um... Are we good here? Okay, I mean, you have a fair point about um, stripping the earth of its resources and damaging everything. Fair enough. I mean, that's exactly what's happening with our planet, I guess. Um, though it's less so the stripping of the resources, more so the uh, pollution aspect to it, but that's fine. That's not really within the scope of this campaign. Or this series, rather. Um, so, I guess we can just leave now. Though, you have a couple of sacks. I'm gonna, uh, looking at your sacks for, uh, for food. I guess we'll, uh, leave you to die and, um, force you to... Oh, I thought those were potato chips. I got very excited. Like, they had a small handful of potato chips. What's Don't even know how they made it, but, um... I guess they have the capability to do so? Wait, so is that it? So there's nothing else for me to do? You're kidding! Oh my god, really? Okay, so... I guess we're done here? Oy vey. Alright, well that's fine. Um, I guess what we could do is maybe spend some time going through Dunn's Ward and claiming these resources. Now obviously we can't teleport there just yet, so I think what we could do is maybe go to Yugoth or Innsmouth and then go from there. Yeah, so there are only a couple of resources that we haven't uh, claimed here, so it shouldn't take us too long, but that's fine. Alright, so back to Arkham, which will take us seven hours, and I think we might not actually have enough time to do everything that I wanted, but that's fine. It is now morning, 8 a.m. Okay, so the reason why I'm quick saving is because uh, we're expecting Sana to complete something, and I might need to save scum the hell out of this, unfortunately. Um, sure, I'll claim that. What else? Getting there will take about eight hours, which will definitely pass into the next day. Gotcha. That'll take six hours, so we'll be at um, 23, assuming that we don't have any further interruptions. Okay, well, let's get there, and then I'll, um, have to save scum, unfortunately. Can I just avoid these guys, please? Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Oh no. Son of a bitch. Well, thankfully I quick save. Oh! Look at that, she succeeded! Okay, you know what, I'll take it. Fantastic, what'd you roll? A five. Wow. You could have actually gotten a triumph. But we've had this event a couple of times before, so I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just glad that we didn't have to uh, safe scum the hell out of this. Great, okay, so I guess we're good to just claim more resources then. Son of a bitch. When's the next thing gonna happen, damn it? Unbelievable. When we stop. Uh, I guess we can stop now. Since we're done here. Fine, back to Yugoth, or would it be faster to go to Innsmouth? Nope, Yugoth it is. Go for it, kids. Okay, don't worry. Yes, Lindsay, I'm aware. I know, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll get some rest soon enough, alright? My goodness. Who the fuck are these guys? Fine. I guess they have to die then. Okay, so line up, future corpses. Let's get your uh, buttholes torn asunder. Uh, it turns out it might actually be my butthole that's gonna get torn asunder. Can we maybe give us a bit more space before we uh, all die? A merciless death, as it were. Christian, can you maybe summon some... Christian? Buddy? Are you okay? Do you not understand how to, um... I don't know. Summon skeletons anymore? Oh. I'm assuming that's a miss. Fantastic. And now he's going after the skeletons. Fine by me. And you have died. Fantastic. Okay, good, good. Except Amiri's taking some damage, but eh, that's fine. Fantastic. And of course, they have nothing for me to loot. I'm hungry. Can I talk to this rat? Hey, Skaven. Oh, okay, I guess it's not Skaven. Not yet. Just give them some time. They'll evolve into Skaven. Believe me, I've seen it happen with my own eyes. In a video game. So, clearly it happens in real life too, because obviously everything that happens in this is uh, based off real life history. There was definitely a uh, blue-skinned man who was basically the living embodiment of blue-balling. Um, with horns? Who um, became the king of some unspecified medieval country that had magic and shit? I don't know. Um... But really, there's nothing else for me to do. Have I not explored anything here? No, I'm pretty sure it'll look like this if I hadn't explored it. And I don't think there's anything that I missed either. At least I don't think so. Um, like even after we did the whole scouting thing, we didn't end up finding anything new, I don't think. Okay, well, I guess then we have to just do some more kingdom management. Wow. I was not expecting this part of the, um, I guess, downtime period to uh, last this long, but... Alright, sure, I mean... Can't really... I mean, I guess it can complain. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. All I'm trying to say is that, um... I didn't expect the, uh... Downtime period to be uh, this long. And apparently the game autosaved. Or what, exactly? And, uh... Okay, so in about five days, we'll have a couple things get resolved. Do I need to... work on anything in the meantime? Okay, so both Harem and the Storyteller are working on that. Uh, not as a Curator. Can I upgrade a skill as a Magister? Hmm... None of what I want there right now. Economy-wise, right, so... I obviously don't have the BP for it, but that's fine. I don't think we'll be doing that in quite some time. I guess I could have actually uh, done that before taking Dunn's Ward, but... I don't know if that really would have made that much of a difference. Okay, well, since there's nothing else for me to do, I'm just gonna skip time until um, something happens, we I guess? have a moment of respite? Okay, you know what? Sure, sorry. I forgot that we needed to rest first and then um, do the whole 
skip time thing because skipping time in a town doesn't count as resting for whatever reason. Which I maintain is a bit of a strange choice, but what what is this? A flail? Flail plus one? Who left garbage in my fucking uh, chambers? Who did this? Was it you, Lindsay? Are you trolling me? It was Lindsay, I know. She's malicious. She is absolutely malicious. The most evil one of our uh, entire team, as it were. Okay, um... Oh, creeping death. Oh, bald hilltop. Impassable thickets full of poisonous plants and dangerous creatures have sprung up overnight and rooted themselves even in the streets of local villages. Countless subjects have already fallen victim to giant fly traps uh, and other monsters which have emerged from the magical woods. This insanity from the bald hilltop must be stopped. Okay, so Keston... Wow. Requires one day to solve. I'm actually gonna try using these crisis points. Ooh. Okay, do I need to use four? I'm sure with a 95% chance of success, we'll be okay? Question mark? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so that'll get resolved in a day. Um, I guess we should start heading to the bald hilltop then. Because we finally have stuff to do. My goodness. Okay, let's do this. Um, I think, do we want to bring Canera or do we want to bring Knock Knock? Now, Knock Knock brings death, as does Kanera and Kaliki. Um, I think since we have a few very strong melee combatants, let's bring Kanera. We could also bring Jubilost. He's got the um, range aspect as well as uh, buffing stuff. But maybe we'll be alright. The only thing that I would really want from Jubilost's uh, buff is Stone Skin uh, Communal. But, yeah, that's about it. Okay, let's head out. Sure. Bald Hilltop, here we come. And hopefully, I hope it's not a problem that I assign Keston to the uh, Creeping Death thing at like almost midnight, which I think it is right now. Um, It's not going to take like actual 24 hours, is it? No, I don't think so. Right, to the Bald Hilltop we go. And that'll take three hours, so I guess we'll see how the Kingdom event gets resolved. What is going on with my with this lag. Okay, so it's been um, resolved, I guess. Fantastic. Sure, wait, so does that mean that the Bald Hilltop stuff is done? No, right? No, we still need to uh, get to the Bald Hilltop. Fantastic. All right, I've done this enough that I know where we need to um, buff up before we, you know, approach the, uh, the portal, as it were, because, you know, at this point, if I hadn't learned already, then, um, my quest, my intelligence is really questionable. Not to imply that my intelligence hasn't been really questionable to begin with, but you know. Alright, we'll do the old standard buffs. Uh, do we have Bark Skin for Valerie? No, right? No, Amiri, you have... War Painted Skull of Duthica. Um... And some buffs here and there, but nothing too crazy. And Lindsay has... Let's do remove fear just in case. And we'll get in a little bit closer before we do good hope and all the other uh, temporary buffs. Or rather, more temporary buffs. Yeah, I think this is about as good as we uh, want to get. So let's do good hope. Christian, if you could start aiding... Though, I should have done the aiding, uh, before the Good Hope stuff, but that's fine. And, uh, Amiri, aid yourself, too. Okay, so, um, I think we might want to keep the, uh, ranged guys in the back. Yeah, because I'm fairly certain they have a lot of stuff uh, coming in, so let's just get you guys to stay here. Uh, you guys can start approaching the portal, and oh my god! Uh, I, that was sudden, as fuck. Mandragora swarm. 
Alright, let's do a controlled fireball, actually. Um... Hopefully the- oh shit, I forgot to do a death ward. Hopefully that's not necessary. I guess what we could also do is- excuse- oh my god! What in the flying fuck is that crazy ass strength damage? Oh my lord! Oh jeez! Fan of flames, well, that would affect our team too, which is obviously not ideal. Um... Jeez Louise! Primal Treant. My goodness. They're all coming in real hot and heavy now. Okay, um... Maybe we should move these guys a little bit. I don't know if the Mandragora Swarms are capable of doing attacks of opportunity. But, uh, just in the off chance that they can, don't move too much. Smilodon, can you please go after the Treant, please? Buddy? You okay? My goodness. Why can I not click on anything? Stop clicking on the fucking tiger! Do not hold up. Jeez Louise! Stop. It's not hammer time, alright? Can we get in a little bit closer? And only affect, um... What in the f flying fuck all? There we go. Do it again, though. If you don't mind. Fantastic. And one last should be enough, hopefully. Alright, Treant is down. Mandragore Swarm is down as well. Fantastic. And there is a Will of the Wisp, I think. Fantastic. That is Marquis Dazzle White. Great, Amiri's almost dead, so if, if you could maybe... Are you serious? A storm right now? Fuck me. Wow, the storm's really giving her, eh? Okay, well, somehow we survived that. Which, I gotta say, is nothing short of a miracle. Holy crap. And we got a diamond out of it. Wow, was that a pregnant... Oh, it was that, um, tree boss guy from the hit video game, uh, Dark Souls 3. That's what it was. Alright, Fabrosi, can you maybe, uh, restore yourself? Because apparently we're all jacked up from the, um, thing. Okay, so Fabrosi can walk, or run, rather. You know what? Let's just get back to our kingdom, and then I think I might just, um... Yeah, try resting to get rid of that. I forget if it's uh, removable via resting. I think so, right? Or am I mistaken? I'm pretty sure we can rest to get rid of it. Although... Hmm... I guess we have to experiment now, don't we? Can I have so done something to maybe prevent the strength damage? Possibly, I guess? Alright, fine. Just get back to our throne room, I suppose. Okay, so... I guess that was it then. Because don't the uh, bald hilltop attacks usually um, signify when there's another chapter happening or whatever? Or am I mistaken? Okay, so let me try saving and resting. I'm hoping that... Uh, That'll be enough to cure our dudes of their various strength uh, damages. Hopefully. Alright. Amiri, please tell me that you are better. You are. Good. And Valerie is also back up to full strength. Fantastic. Ooh, mama. I don't know why I thought that uh, ability damage or whatever uh, wouldn't be restored via healing or resting. Weird, but okay. Also weird that my inventory screen pops up there. Alright, so I guess that's it then? Um... A way to report. Right. So, I guess that is it then. Um... Alright, well then I guess maybe we'll just end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and I think it'll be another few days ahead. Yeah, because it 
seems like we've, well, kind of completed everything that we could, for the moment at least. So, I guess we'll see where it goes. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!